Hi, I'm Matthew Sunshine and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications. Today we are on a garlic mustard hunt. Um, I am super excited because I looked up some things on the internet and we could use the whole plant. We could use the roots, we could use the leaves, you could use the stems. We're gonna make tea, we're gonna make broth. Uh, it's gonna be awesome, so follow me. that all right in this video I am going to show you four ways to get the most out of garlic mustard and use everything you may know this thing by another name like Jack in the bush poor man's mustard hedge garlic but in this video we're gonna call it garlic mustard all right check it out we found what we're looking for look at this beautiful garlic mustard you know how we know it's garlic mustard because it loves us. Look at this heart, it loves you, right? And then uh, it's not smooth, it has little jaggedy edges. And look at these beautiful flowers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this looks like a good one. Check out this pile here. Look at this big pile of garlic mustard. Woo! You may be thinking, oh my God, look, they're taking all the garlic mustard. Don't worry, it's okay. The place where we're at has tons of it. It grows everywhere. And remember, this is an invasive species. So it could be preventing the natural medicine here to grow. So it's okay, we're gonna take it. Let's go. Hey, you, what are you doing on my land? Uh, uh, I'm just harvesting some garlic mustard. Oh, thank you. Carry on. All right, yeah. All right, let's get to the root of the plant. What you could do with the root if you really want to, you could remove all the little hairs and you could go for the big part and you could try to make horseradish out of it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna waste any of these little pieces here. I'm gonna chop them all up and I'm gonna use them as tea. Now, I don't see a lot of people doing garlic mustard root tea. If you ever tried garlic mustard root tea, let me know, give a shout out in the comments. Um, I just took them, cleaned them off, boiled them up, and it wasn't really that strong. It's pretty clear. I mean, there's some tint to it, uh, but I feel like I'm definitely getting benefits. It's better than water. So I dried it out here into the dehydrator and then put it into this magic bullet. So this way I could save it for later. I've done the same thing with other roots, like dandelion roots. And actually, the two go really well together. What would you mix it up with? Let me know. Hey, and if you're getting any value out of this, hit that like button. So you want to eat some greens, huh? Well, I got a surprise for you. Wham! <laughs> Here's some greens. So, uh, wash them off, cut them up. Uh, you could get a pan going with some butter throw them in there, saute them up just like you would spinach. However, if this is too strong for you, this is gonna be uh, the most powerful way to eat the leaves. But if you wanna tone it down a bit, you can boil it. I would recommend drinking the water, uh, but then you would strain the leaves and, and put them on your meal. Here they are sauteed though. And uh, you're like, oh, that's all right, you know, but am I just gonna eat that plain? No way, check it out, put them on this burrito. Oh yeah, also tip, salt them. They tell you it's great with salt, mmm. All right, back to these babies. 
We're gonna get into some crazy stuff now. I bet you wouldn't believe it, but voila, you could make broth out of the stems of garlic mustard. You wanna boil them up, boil them for a pretty long time. I boiled them for about like 20 minutes. You could simmer them though for maybe longer, maybe a half hour or so. Make sure you drain it. I drained it twice here. Uh, then I put it into a crock pot. I put in some beef, carrots, potatoes, put more of the leaves back in. And then I made this amazing garlic mustard beef stew. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. All right, if that now, if that broth didn't blow your mind, check this out. You could take the leaves, put them into a dehydrator, get them all crispy, throw them into a bag, take that bag, crinkle them all up, make it into like a, you know, a green powder. It doesn't have to be all powder, but yeah, something that would make a real nice tea out of. Boil up some water, uh, put it in a strainer, through a strainer, and dude, this was crazy. Yo, this is like green tea. Look at that. It looks like it looks like the jet's like the Japanese green tea, man. It really is like the perfect green color. Yeah, though. it's really good. These are just leaves that are growing everywhere. And we made broth that tastes like broth. Like oh, it tastes like broth. It tastes exactly and like broth. And then we just made green tea out of garlic mustard that tastes just like green tea. You gotta try this. Go get some. It's worth it. This is worth it. Well, I hope you learned something. And if you did, please hit that like button. If you got any value out of this, if you're gonna try any of this stuff, please let me know in the comments. And then if you are interested in a more natural approach to health and wellness that includes wild food, primal movement, and self-improvement, then hit that subscribe button. All right, sound good? Until next time, peace love and sunshine.